focus on clinical trial diversification, better practices, health competency. My name is Anna Hall. Executive clinical populations are often not reflective of the target population who will use the medicine. Drug efficacy can vary across demographic subgroups. Minorities have historically been underrepresented in clinical trial populations. Addressing diversity in clinical trial populations is an ongoing challenge for sponsors. It's being challenged. The ethnic subgroup population is growing and will soon no longer be a minority. Both are expected to become more stringent as regulatory authorities request more representative trial populations. Patients and payers are increasingly demanding evidence of subgroup health outcomes. The drive of personal medicine will likely require sponsors to be more expansive in their recruitment practices. How sponsors improve racial ethnic diversity in clinical populations to better reflect the targeted population? The Clinical Diversification Initiative Records proactively raise awareness of cultural differences across population subgroups, which may have an impact on patient engagement and rent and rent. This provides an overview of the business case, provides and references key resources which can be readily assessed by sponsor companies. Increasing pressure to ensure clinical trial populations reflect the disease state. Change to ensure representative diversity in clinical trial populations. Regularly focused on ensuring trial populations are representative of the indicated population. Science. The practice of generalizing scientific conclusions is challenged by the demand for personalized medicine. Yes, traditional minority populations are growing rapidly and expected to become the majority. Broad of the developed drugs with all patients in mind. In states, although FDA has long requested race and ethnicity data on subjects in certain clinical trials, the agency has not previously made explicit recommendations on the categories to use when collecting and reporting this data. My populations generally remain underrepresented in clinical trial populations. I represent 12% of the U.S. population to 5% of clinical trial participants. The state is 16% of the U.S. population, but on 1% clinical trial predict. Audience. The agenda of the following content is to be used by sponsor company study teams to help raise awareness at the site level of the benefits of cultural competency and provide guidance on how and when to use available resources. This presentation is intended for sponsor company resources with responsibility overseeing aspects of clinical operations leading to sites and patients in the following role. Program management, sites, and sites on. To Hispanic culture, patients rely on his or her family to help make health care decisions. Confused doctor asks them to make a treatment decision, such as participating in a clinical trial. Patients tend to believe the doctor will tell them what to do. Jeopardize responsibilities within the home by being on a clinical trial. It's important in keeping commitments to the family. The entails adapting to the social and cultural influence on patients' beliefs. Competency is awareness of unique and defining characteristics of various populations, recognition of the importance of social and cult influences on health and behaviors, 
six researchers' awareness and their actions, and in the incorporation into the research design, conduct, and interpretation. The five capabilities are value, value diversity, and institutionalized knowledge, competency, differences, and or adaptability. This can influence the development of research ideas, Conduct research and assessment of research findings. Culture and benefit, patient recruitment, retention, and outcomes. Versus clinical plans, which better meet the practical needs of patients. Documentation and other patient literature. Archives, culturally appropriate tools to better manage patients. For investors, Improving awareness of where and how to locate patient populations, engine within patient groups of clinical trials being applicable to them, improve patient engagement through culturally appropriate communication, and of enrolling patients and obtaining informed consent, and in retention. Cultural competency is critical to Reducing health disparities and improving access to high quality health care choices that are respectful of and responsive to the health beliefs, practice, and cultural and linguistic needs of diverse patients. Cultural training has inherent challenges and limitations. Cultural materials may be oversimplified or inaccurate. She requires individual interactions. Tuition of culture. We presume homogeneity of the population. May the consistently shifting nature of a culture. Lack of cultural competency leads to improvement in patient outcomes. Realized care, but insufficient to eliminate health disparities. More strongly correlated with education and access. Questions, misunderstandings, and satisfaction with the treatment can still occur between patients and providers of the same culture. Specific examples of culturally competent care. The training has a large and complex landscape. The FALS provides a non exhaustive summary of available regulations and resources. And competency is a broad area of study with many available training. Subjective, enhance individual, individual awareness, and evokes an individual to change their views and or beliefs. You can teach it requires a facility change. Trainings can help build awareness of individual patients and their sensitivities, in addition to providing information to strengthen communication under the traditions and beliefs of diverse patient populations. An unpack that stereotyping can have on medical decision making and in needs to overcome language barriers. This session on clinical trial diversification, better practices, cultural competence. For any of this content, contact Dewana Hall or Kim. Additional resources can also be found on the Transcelerate website. Thank you.